Hey church, I know we're all home now, but this coming Sunday, we are gonna be able to start the first phase of getting back into the building. I know you're probably gonna have a few questions about what that, what is that gonna look like? Well here, let me walk you through what it's gonna be like this coming Sunday. When you get to the front doors, you'll notice that the doors will be propped open for you. This will be a place where a greeter will be able to greet you and ask you a couple of questions before you come in. Some of those questions are gonna be, have you had a fever in the last week? Have you been around anyone who's had a fever in the last week? Have you been exposed to anyone with the coronavirus in the last two weeks? If you do answer yes to any of these questions, we would encourage you to stay home. You will not be permitted to come into the building in order that we can maintain the safety for those that are inside the building. When you come in the sanctuary, you're gonna notice that things look a little bit different. When you come in, just ask an usher where you can be seated and they'll help you get where you need to be. We encourage you to sit together with your family and the rows have already been distanced well enough apart that you don't have to skip rows. You do, however, need to leave two chairs between you and the next household next to you on the row. In order to keep the chairs as clean as possible, you'll notice that we created a center aisle uh, with the chairs. Houston First Church of God members will be sitting on the side closest to the main entrance uh, when you come in. The other side of the sanctuary will be reserved for Iglesia and their worship service later Sunday afternoon. As a way of maintaining the health and safety for those who are over the age of 65 who may choose to come and worship on May 31st and June 7th, we have created a, a, a way for you to be as isolated as possible from everyone else so that we can keep you as safe as possible. We're encouraging those over the age of 65 to park closer to the back entrance. Then. As you walk in, you'll come into the, the glass doors at the back of the building. After you come in the back glass doors, there will be a special entrance just for those over the age of 65. There will also be a seating area specifically for those over the age of 65 so that you can again maintain as much social distance as you would prefer. Our recommendation is that those over the age of 65 would worship online until June the 14th. However, if you would like to come and be in the building, we have these extra steps set up just to be able to ensure your health. We would also recommend that you wear a mask while you're here. Again, this is not a requirement, but it is a courtesy that you can provide for others that are here, that as you wear a mask, you would ensure that their health is maintained as much as possible. At the conclusion of the service, ushers will dismiss you by household rather than everyone leaving at the same time. Throughout this entire process, we ask that you would help with social distancing by not shaking hands or giving hugs. Maintaining social distance is an important way to make sure that everyone who's here can, can stay healthy if that will be a struggle for you, you may need to decide about whether it's best for you to be in the building or not. You should also realize that just because you may want to give someone a hug or shake someone's hand doesn't mean that they are comfortable with that yet. So in the meantime, let's just encourage that social distance with everyone. And in order to help with that, we are going to have a couple of individuals who I am calling social distance advocates, that they are going to help remind you of some of the ways that we can help make sure that everybody is healthy while they are here worshiping together. It has been so great to connect with so many new people through our online worship services, but I know we have all missed being together in worship as well. Church, not only are we concerned with the ability to be able to come together and encourage one another, but we're also uh, deeply concerned for the health and safety of everyone around us. We may all have different ways that we practice social distancing, 
But as we come together, we're gonna put others' needs ahead of our own in order that we might be able to worship God in one place together.